Here I wanted to take a bit of a more detailed look at the acidic and basic amino acids because you'll see them in both their neutral and ionized forms in enzyme active sites and so we'll want to get comfortable with both ionization state structures. Aspartic acid and glutamic acid contain acidic side chains because they contain carboxylic acid groups or carboxylates within their side chains and the pKa values for those carboxylic acid protons, the carboxyl protons, are well less than 7 in both cases, and so under physiological conditions where the pH is typically around 7, these will be predominantly deprotonated to form carboxylates. In the active site of an enzyme, though, through electrostatic effects that we'll talk about later, we can modulate or adjust the pKa of an aspartic acid or glutamic acid locally, and so you'll see both of these ionization states in enzyme active sites, and sometimes they work together. One aspartate residue in the anionic form can work together with an acidic aspartic acid residue as a basic and acidic catalyst, respectively. A similar idea applies to glutamic acid. The only difference with glutamic acid is that we have an extra carbon in the side chain. This can form a glutamate structure under conditions where deprotonation of the carboxylic acid is favored. And again, we sometimes see glutamic acid and its conjugate base glutamate acting together as acid and base catalysts. The side chains of cysteine and tyrosine are weak acids. If we look at the pKa's of those side chains and the amino acids themselves, we've got 8.18 for the thiol group in cysteine and about 10 for the pKa of the hydroxyl group in the phenol ring of tyrosine. Like aspartic acid and glutamic acid, these pKa's can be modulated up or down, and when they're modulated down to relatively acidic, relatively low values, we can see the conjugate base ionization states of these coming in. So the thiolate structure for cysteine and the phenylate anion for tyrosine are often observed in enzyme active sites where pKa's can be modulated locally. And again, we'll talk about how exactly that works in a future video, but really it just has to do with electrostatics driving the formation of negative charge on oxygen or sulfur and the enzyme creating a microenvironment that does that. More details on that later in the course. The basic amino acids, arginine, lysine, and histidine, have side chains that are predominantly protonated at physiological pHs. But again, because of pKa modulation effects, we see both ionization states and enzyme active sites. Arginine contains the guanidinium functional group, which looks kind of like a urea, a carbonyl flanked by two nitrogens, with an NH group replacing the carbonyl oxygen. Protonation of the guanidine group in the arginine side chain produces a guanidinium functional group that looks like this. Protonation occurs at the N2, the two connected nitrogen within the structure. This results in heavy resonance stabilization of that positive charge, meaning that this cation is quite stable, stable enough to exist under physiological conditions, in fact. Lysine contains an amino group, and amino groups themselves are basic enough to be protonated under a variety of physiological conditions. Protonation of lysine produces an ammonium group, NH3+, on the end of its side chain. And finally, under the right conditions, the N2 nitrogen in the imidazole heterocycle of histidine can be protonated to produce an imidazoleum cation. This too benefits from resonance stabilization due to the electron donating nature of the N3 nitrogen here. Just as we saw for the acidic amino acids, we often see these side chains and their conjugate acids working together in acid-base catalyzed mechanisms inside enzyme active sites. For example, we might see the protonated guanidinium group acting as an acid together with a separate lysine residue in its neutral form as a base, or a neutral histidine residue working as a base together with another histidine residue that's protonated working as an acid. These ionization states are the acidic and basic catalysts that do the meat of the electron flow in enzyme-catalyzed reactions.